Brother Adil emails and he asks, and he doesn't tell me where he's emailing from by the way, he asks, is sarcasm halal or not? Is sarcasm halal or not? وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِن قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ And I was thinking of some sarcastic jokes to make and I decided let me be serious uh, today inshallah ta'ala in contrast to most of my other lectures where I try to squeeze in some humor here and there. Nonetheless, uh, to answer the question technically, sarcasm uh, is of two types. There is a type that is done where it's done amongst friends in a manner that everybody is laughing together with everybody else. It elicits a laughter and doesn't hurt anybody's feeling. There's no denigration. Nobody's feelings are hurt. Nobody feels that I have been targeted. This is laughing together with everybody, okay? And you just make a sarcastic comment or a laugh or a joke. This would be something that is permissible. It's permissible. There's no sin over there. Uh, once a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and uh, he wanted to go on an expedition and he said, oh, Messenger Allah, I want to join your expedition. There was an expedition going, but I don't have, but I don't have a camel. So do you have a camel that I can, you know, borrow or I can take? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi used a phrase in Arabic. Uh, so uh, a baby camel in Arabic is called waladun naqa. Okay, waladun naqa. A baby camel is waladun naqa, which literally means the child of a camel. So the Prophet said, I only have a baby camel. He said, sorry, he said, waladun naqa. Waladun naqa. The man said, O Messenger of Allah, how will a baby camel help me? It's a newly born, I need a full camel. And then the Prophet said, and what is a naqa except the walad of another naqa? What is the, the camel except born from another camel? In other words, it's a pun on words here. I mean, it's not quite sarcasm, but it's a pun on words here, right? In other words, yes, I have a camel and uh, you know, I'm, I'm calling it the walad naqa the child of a camel, because it is like, I am the child of my father. I'm not a child anymore, but I am still the child of my father. So the Prophet used that uh, phrase. Uh, another lady came to the Prophet a very elderly lady, and she's, you know, saying, Oh Messenger of Allah, I'm very old, make dua that Allah Azza wa causes me to enter Jannah. So the Prophet said that, Oh aunt, oh dear mother, don't you know that old ladies do not enter Jannah? And she said, what? Old ladies do not enter Jannah? Huh? What am I going to do now? So the Prophet said, rather young ladies enter Jannah, and Allah will transform you to when you were younger and then cause you to enter Jannah, right? Now, again, this is not quite sarcasm per se, but it is still a double entendre, it's a double meaning. And the point that we can extract from this is that obviously she was so happy. Nobody was insulted ever at a joke of the Prophet We're all, they're all, it, it brought a smile to their faces. It made them happy in a double manner, right? So the man is initially disappointed. Oh, I don't have a camel. Then he gets extra happy. The same with the lady, what am I gonna do? Oh, then he gets double happy. Uh, so here we have examples where the Prophet Sallallahu is basically acting in a manner that will bring a smile and everybody will be laughing. He never targeted somebody. So this is in contrast to being sarcastic against somebody to make your point or as a means of denigrating. That is not something that is praiseworthy in our religion. In fact, throughout the Quran, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentions the enemies of the prophets. It is the munafiqun who are described as mocking, belittling, making sarcastic comments, winking, secretly gesturing, making fun of the righteous. And that is why Allah says in the Quran that, O Messenger of Allah, we shall deal with those who are mocking and sarcastic. And uh, the angels remark that uh, how pitiful it is for the creation. Never does a prophet come except that they make fun of him. And Allah says in the Quran, O oh, you believe, let not one group of people make fun of another group. Let not some women make fun of other women. So when the sarcasm is meant to denigrate 
when the sarcasm is meant to put somebody down, to hurt somebody's feelings, then it is not befitting and it goes against the perfection of uh, the manners that our Prophet uh, commanded us. Our Prophet وسلم, said, the believer is the brother of another believer. He does not belittle him. He does not put him down. He does not make fun of him. So the believer does not do this to another believer when it is meant to hurt uh, somebody. In fact, never once did the Prophet وسلم, crack a joke at the expense of somebody, make fun of somebody to make them feel bad. Never once did he do a hidden gesture or a wink of the eye that was meant to poke you know, somebody else's uh, feelings. As we said, there's a big difference between laughing with people and laughing at people. And if the sarcasm is self-deprecating or with somebody whom you know are gonna laugh back at you and whatnot, inshallah ta'ala this is permissible. And if it is done to hurt somebody's feelings or to make them you know, on the spot, then it goes against uh, the prophetic example and it betrays a sense of our own superiority. It indicates that we feel we have uh, a, a, an ego, whatnot, and therefore it is not something that uh, should be uh, done. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knows best. And with that, we come to the conclusion of today's Q&A. And inshallah, we will continue uh, back to our regular lengthy uh, Q&A, inshallah ta'ala, next week. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> روحا وريحانا بقولك كون